Hey Star Wars Action Figure Collectors, this is Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another haul video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. You know, as most of you know, I've been really saving up for some of the events coming up and um, today was the first event that I got to cross off my list, which was the Toy Fusion parking lot sale. So I was able to get a few items, not too much. Somewhat disappointing around this time. They had one in January and I'm thinking most of the vendors who uh, were there in January or December, I can't remember showed up to this one to kind of sell what they had left over and some of the prices were ridiculous just way overpriced when I go to uh, toy fairs and conventions I expect some great deals and you know when you have guys coming out with clipboards and lists of what these figures cost that's never a good sign so I wasn't able to get too much so I'll also share some other finds I got too since you know I can put them in one video so this video won't be so short but Sat cons next weekend. Hopefully I'll be able to find something there. And Wizard World's coming up. That's the big event. So I guess it's a good thing I didn't spend too much money today. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start off with what I found at the mall. I uh, went on Friday and hit up the Lego store. And I was able to pick up one of the new battle packs, uh, which is the one I really wanted. And here are just some of the uh, minifigures. It comes with four. It comes with uh, two airborne troopers. And these guys are so nice and then a standard 212th Battalion Clone Trooper. It comes with two of these also. So I just really wanted to get one set, but there's so many that I want. But uh, that'll have to wait till late March, April, get some of the other uh, sets. It also came with this droid, which I thought was kind of disappointing. Look, you know, just disappointed the way it looked, but now that I have it in my hands, it's actually a really cool droid. Looks much better than the Swamp Speeder that comes with the Kashyyyk thing, since I have the standard Kashyyyk uh, Swamp Speeder. That was released a few uh, years back. And I went to the Disney store, as most of you know. And if you don't know, uh, Disney stores are not stocking Star Wars product. Most Disney stores, not all of them yet. And uh, the one I, my local Disney store had Waves 1 through 3 for the Black Series, 3 and 3 quarter inch, and they had Wave 2. Of course, no Boba Fett, no Darth Plagueis. You know, I have those figures. But I was able to get the last two figures that I wanted from the Black Series, which is the Luminar on Dooley, my favorite Jedi. So, and these were ten ninety nine, so a buck more. So, yeah, it's still better than online and shipping and whatnot. And Commander Neo, who looks really cool. I've heard great things about this clone, so really looking forward to that. But, you know, they had a lot of great stuff, and if I hadn't found some of my recent uh, finds at Walmart, I would have really stocked up there. So now onto the Toy Fair. So, just a few items, not too much, like I mentioned. So... First thing I was able to get for $15, which you know tends to be double online, is this little Lego battle pack, which comes with a Shadow Stormtrooper, which is really sick looking. I love that. It's the main reason I got this. And it comes with three Stormtroopers. The little dropship's cool. It's 100% complete. Didn't have the stickers, which is not a big deal. Um, did come with a box, but this is going to be thrown out. <laughs> this was released probably, what? Packaging 2007 or so, maybe 2006. No, it could be totally wrong. And it came with the instruction manual, which was really important for me. I love collecting and keeping the instruction manuals. You know, get a binder ready for them. But uh, just for the fact that it comes with three stormtroopers, I don't have very many stormtroopers in my collection. I know there are some being released in the summer, but to get that and this guy right here, this was what really made it the set worth it. So just that little shadow stormtrooper really. Sick looking. I mean, it's just, it's a black stormtrooper, but he just looks cool. <laughs> so, really happy to get that for half of what it goes for. Next, I am not a creature collector, but I couldn't resist this guy. <laughs> a boga. This guy is cool. I got him loose for five bucks. I think it goes for about 20. I looked him up on eBay and, you know, placed his tails and his arms go up. And I do have the Revenge of the Sith Obi Wan, which I'll be posing on there. It's just really cool, and I just, you know, I do like the creatures, and I would like to get a few more creatures into my collection, but this guy was just, you know, I couldn't resist for $5. It just looks so cool. It's going to look really nice with Obi-Wan riding on top of him. And the last thing that I got, which is a battle pack that I've seen quite a few times, and I've always passed up on it, but finally decided to get it. It is the Hunt for Grievous battle pack, so, yeah. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. And it comes with five clone troopers. I got this for 20 So you're looking at $4 a figure. And uh, this battle pack tends to go anywhere between, uh, any as, anywhere as low as $50 to $150. I 
really all over the place. Average is about 70 75 but, uh, I mean, you can't go wrong. Loose, these guys tend to go for about $15 each, so I got them for $4 each. And I have seen this pack quite a few times the last few conventions I've going to, and it just looks so cool in the packaging. I'm not one to keep things in package, but the main reason I like it so much in the packaging is because they're hanging out of that attack uh, Republic shuttle, and, um, I'm sorry, not the Republic gunship, but the uh, little design, I think it's... Oh, I forget which beast it is. Someone will let me know in the comments, but uh, I don't know what to do yet. I may wait till next week at SATCON because I did see this at SATCON for 25 and I may pick up another one just to open. But anyways, that was definitely the deal of the day. So there you guys have it. hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be doing some reviews of some of the Wave 3 Black Series figures in Wave 2, and then next week I'll have SATCON hopefully be able to shoot some footage and show you guys what I get there. Alright, so until next time you guys, thank you for watching and may the force be with you.